Picture this. You're in a castle and it's under attack, and it's only a matter of time before it falls. Would you let yourself fall into the hands of the enemy and suffer whatever torturous consequences may be? Or would you take matters into your own hands and end your suffering yourself? My name is Michelle, you're watching Tokyo Pass 3, and today we're exploring the Hachioji Castle Ruins. There are a few places in Tokyo that are reportedly haunted and I am currently standing in one of them. But I didn't come here to spook myself out, I actually came here for a bit of exercise and at the same time show you a slice of history. Now, you may have heard of what is called the Warring States Period or Sengoku Jidai. It was a period in Japanese history where many clans were fighting for power and among them was the Hojo clan. The Hojo clan ruled most of what is Kanto region today. In fact, Odawara Castle in Kanagawa and the Imperial Palace were among their possessions, both of which you can still visit today. Hachioji Castle tells a different story though. You see, Hojo Ujiteru built Hachioji Castle on a mountain because it serves as a natural fortress. When you come to the ruins today, you will find two major areas. At the base of the mountain lies Koshuden or the Lord's Residence. So if you can see behind me, there is a bridge and this is called Hikibashi and apparently this was built so that um, if an enemy comes to the castle, it would buy the residents time because they would be focused on destroying that first. Climbing higher up, you will find Honmaru, the castle's main defense. You will also find remains of Hachioji Shrine, which predates the castle. This shrine is where the castle and the city of Hachioji gets its name. Now you must be wondering, why did this castle fall? In theory, this castle should have been impenetrable, but Toyotomi Hideyoshi, a name you may be familiar with as he's one of the three great unifiers of Japan, devised a plan to defeat the Hojo clan. He made the guise of attacking Odawara Castle. In response, Hojo Ujiteru took most of his army to Odawara, leaving Hachioji with a skeleton crew along with women and children. Hideyoshi's actual plan? Capture Hachioji Castle. And with so few warriors to defend it, even with its natural advantage, the castle was open for taking. Those who were left here, mostly women and children, knew that it was a lost cause. So during a lull in the battle, the women headed to this waterfall, slit the throats of their children, and jumped off to their deaths. They say that this sight was so gruesome that the water ran red for three days and three nights. You can probably see why people think this place is haunted. Rumors say that on the anniversary of the battle, the waters here turn red. Some people who have visited this place also say that their equipment kept on malfunctioning. Others have reported hearing sounds of battle and blood-curdling screams. It's not really the gruesome details that draws me to this place. It's thinking about those last moments of these women who took their lives and that of their children here. I can only imagine how difficult it must have been to come to that decision. I mean, I'm not a parent, but just imagining like how I would have to kill someone I gave birth to, that's maddening. And for that, I really have respect 
for the people who died here and I do pray that their souls rest in peace. So what happened to Hojo Ujiteru in the end? After losing to Hideyoshi, he and his brother Ujimasa were forced to commit seppuku, a manner of death in which a samurai stabs himself with a short sword, resulting in a slow, agonizing death. Ujiteru's grave, along with his retainers, can be found in an area close to Hatioji Castle ruins today. And that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's slice of history. This has been Mijal for Tokyo Pass 3. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!